here with reaction, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, good to see you. Let me Thank let you. me begin tonight with this. Um, and I did, by the way, love your comments that they'll have blood on their hands. What's happening in the hearing today? We just had yeah. Josh Hawley on about. Yeah. Okay, Joe Biden said he's going to respond. There's been nearly 200 attacks against American right. service members in Iraq and Syria. Uh, <laughs> this day was inevitable because Joe didn't lift yeah. a finger with right. over 100 and what, 75 attacks. He didn't do a yeah. thing except take out an empty warehouse. So yeah. he's emboldened Iran the way I see it. You're, you're, what's your take? Well, number one, you're dead right. Why did not, why didn't this happen on Trump's watch? Iran was afraid of Trump. He killed the head of their revolutionary god, uh, guard, Soleimani. Biden has yet to hit Iran directly. The Iranians could care less how many Houthis you kill. They could care less how many Iraqi militia you kill. The only way they will change their behavior and stop killing Americans and attacking our troops and trying to bomb ships in the Red Sea is for Joe Biden to hit their oil infrastructure and start killing their soldiers inside of Iran. I'm not asking to invade Iran, but I'm calling on President Biden tonight. Go to the source of the problem. If you don't hit the Iranian oil infrastructure and hit them in the wallet and make them fear you, they're going to keep killing our soldiers to the three families uh, whose loved one lost their life. It breaks my heart this was all preventable. So, Mr. President, hit Iran and hit them now and hit them hard to protect Americans in harm's way. I don't know if he has it in him. I mean, I want to be yeah. very clear here because there's not a single person watching right now. I think I think the American people's yeah. appetite for a long uh, protracted conflict in that area yeah. of the world is probably zero yeah. at this point. However, sure. When you attack American troops nearly 200 times and then you kill American troops, yeah. to not have a response at all is unfathomable to me. You are basically well, then giving them, yeah. you know, free access to do whatever yeah. they want to American troops. There has got to be a proportional response. I like your idea. Take out their refineries. That is the, yeah. that is the biggest source of wealth for the Iranian mullahs. I think that's well, a simple let, solution. I do, too, and they would stop. They have four refineries you can see from space. Uh, make sure if they do this again or do it now, they have three, and if they keep doing it, they have two, and they will stop. They will give in when they're afraid of America. They were afraid of Donald Trump. To the American people, our soldiers are over there to make sure ISIS and al-Qaeda, that they don't come back and hit us here at home. They're there to protect the homeland. Iran's trying to drive us out of the Mideast. Mr. President, you owe it to those in harm's way to have their back. The reason they're being attacked so often is that Iran doesn't fear you. If you hit Iranian oil infrastructure and hit them where it hurts, they would stop. Stop being afraid of the Ayatollah. He should be afraid of America. We've lost deterrence. Uh, in 2021, the Taliban took over Afghanistan. In 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine. In 2023, Hamas attacked Israel. In 2024, they're attacking ships in the Red Sea. A, a, Biden has been a disaster in his first three years. Well, let me ask this, Every then. year, a war has started. So the IAEA and inspectors, they've actually gone public in saying Iran now is enriching military-grade uranium, yes. that they could probably have a bomb, if not in, in a couple of short weeks. Now, yeah. I don't know what the world's going to look like if, if the mullahs of Iran, with their radical ideology, have nuclear weapons. I'm not sure that mutually assured destruction would deter them at all. That's a scary thought. What does the region do about this? What does the world need to think about this? I was in Saudi Arabia over the weekend. If Iran gets a bomb, they're going to get a bomb. See, the Ayatollah would use the bomb to destroy Israel because he's a religious Nazi. He believes that the missing Mahdi in a well, the 10th Imam, will come back to save the day when there's chaos in the world. He intends to use the weapon for religious reasons. Rocket Man's trying to keep his regime uh, in survival mode. So here's what I would say uh, to the American people. Biden's been in office three years. In 2021, the Taliban take back Afghanistan. 2022, Russia invades Ukraine. 2023, Hamas attacks Israel. Here's what's 2024. Iran's going to break out the nuclear bomb, and it's up to Israel if we don't do 
uh, more uh, to stop Iran. We're going to have a war with Iran in 2024 over their efforts to get a bomb. And watch China. They're going after, quote, reunification with Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, if right. it's going to happen, I bet it happens this year. Lindsey Graham, thank you, Senator. Appreciate it. Come hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.